Hey guys, welcome to a new series from Tangiers. Uh, we're gonna be interviewing and highlighting some of the lounges that carry Tangiers. So today we have Nate and Susan with us from uh, South Dakota. Hey guys. Hello. Uh, so what's your lounge? What's, what's the lounge name? Well, the, the name of the lounge is Sahara Nights Hookah Lounge. Uh, it's based out of Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, we focus more on a chill and relaxing environment. Um, definitely gets a little bit more of a party atmosphere on the weekends. Um, we're located in the, the downtown business sector in Rapid City, which is where pretty much the nightlife in that town is. Um, so on the weekends, we do definitely turn up a little bit. Um, there's a lot more drinking. Um, we don't serve alcohol in our lounge, but uh, there are alcohol establishments right next door. Um, so kind of everybody's drinking, smoking, having a good time, hanging out, partying, nice. um, that kind of thing. Um, the rest of the week, it's more of a, I would say more of a relaxing homework uh, and video game lounge than, than anything else because we have a lot of people down there that play video games. Oh, nice. What kind of video games? Well, the, the popular one um, for throughout the years has always been League of Legends. League of Legends was always the most popular one. Nice. Um, and we, we watch the, the eSports streams down there. We've watched the Worlds down there pretty much every year that they've had it, that kind of thing. Um, but everybody just kind of plays what they're into at, at that time. You know, there's people playing Call of Duty and other shooters and Halo and Tarkov and a lot of the different games. It's just kind of what's popular and what people are playing at the time. How long have you guys uh, had the lounge? We're up to eight years now. Oh, nice. We'll be celebrating our tenure in 2023. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so just almost nine. So uh, how long have you guys been serving Tangiers? We started serving Tangiers. Oh, we nice. had Tangiers when we opened. So yeah, we've always served Tangiers. Um, we started with um, Tangiers kind of as our primary shisha that we carry. Um, and it's always been one of our biggest sellers. It's all about the K-Peach. All about the K-Peach and the K-Mint. Like, we mm -hmm. go through so much, it's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> at least half of our customers are smoking it straight, like, mm -hmm. on a day-to-day. -day. <laughs> that explains all the years of boxing your orders and seeing a lot of cashmere <laughs> peach on it. <laughs> yeah, at any given time, there's probably at least a bowl of K-Mint and K-Peach smoking in the lounge, so. Do you, uh, do you guys have, like, a specialty mix or anything? Um, well, so, so K-Peach and Mint was actually a, a blend that was developed by one of my good friends and uh, one, of the, one of the other owners of the lounge. Um, his name was, uh, his DJ name was VIP Rob. He always went by VIP Rob and he <laughs> called it VIP and it was, it was K-Peach and Mint and that was his blend. So yeah, that's, that's definitely been a staple for, since the beginning. Nice. So you guys got to participate in the Tangiers Regal Tour. What'd you guys think? It was so cool to actually get the chance to see like how everything's being manufactured and like to, to see the entire process from start to finish. It's got a lot of stuff that like I never would have even thought about. And the amount of uh, quality work that you guys do is just nuts. Like it's really, really cool to see. It's the first time in that nine years that we've really had anybody from the industry come out to visit us. So it was very, very cool that you guys did that. Our employees are super stoked to meet you guys, and like they can't wait to have you guys out again. Like, oh, yeah. We've worked on it for a long time. You know, we're always about trying to do better. Um, we we don't try to fall into the it's the way it's always been done mentality. Um, we're always trying to improve. We're always trying to better. We we test and try lots of different things, pipes and bowls, and you know, if there's a way to smoke hookah, we'll probably try it at least once. You know, it's not always better, but. We like to find what really works the best to provide um, not only the most flavorful, but like the longest lasting, best experience for people because we want them to enjoy enjoy the, the process of smoking hookah. So it's that return customers is, is so important for oh, yeah. a, a, especially a hookah lounge in a town with 60,000 people. Like most people listening to this video probably drive past more people on the freeway on the way to work in the morning than live in our state. Um, so it's, it's just very important to keep those customers and to keep the clientele and to keep people returning because without it, you know, we wouldn't really stay in business for long. So what, what would you like to see more of from the industry? Honestly, like a lot more um, like forums and whatnot for people that want to open like quality lounges would be great because one of the things that we do is we're constantly traveling around the com like the country trying to see all of the new stuff and like how people do things. But there's a lot of lounges in, in states that don't have a whole lot of that help from the community. Yeah. 
and so like having an area for more of those lounge owners and people that are interested in doing stuff with the community so that we can make sure that like everybody's on the same page because I mean you can have like a small city and somebody goes and they have a bad experience at a lounge and then you know they may be out of the hookah community forever yeah. at that point so yeah I think uh, I think my thing one of my biggest things that I want to work on in the coming years is I think that the industry, the hookah industry as a general whole, needs more and better lounges to grow. Yeah. Um, you know, as, as a tobacco business, all of them, we struggle in the fact that, you know, we're not really allowed to advertise. Yeah. Um, you cannot advertise for hookah, you cannot advertise for tobacco, um, a lot of different aspects means that word of mouth and trying it out is the only way to grow the industry um, and so those hookah lounges become so much more important because you could go to a hookah lounge have a great experience um, not even live there but still you know if you had a good enough experience if people were knowledgeable and sharing their knowledge with you you could potentially go home start ordering online and still enjoy that hookah experience not even living in that place with a hookah lounge um, but if you go to a hookah lounge and you have a terrible experience, if you get quick lights on Fantasia with a metal bowl and an acrylic hookah, like, if it's terrible, you know, you're not like, well, I wonder if it could be better. I wonder what I could do to make this better. Like, most people are just not going to do it again. Yeah. Um, and so those hookah lounges are the, the front runner. They're what drives the growth of the industry. And I really feel like, um, as a general rule, we don't have nearly enough good hookah lounges in this country. So, what's your favorite part of uh, owning a lounge? I love meeting all the new people. Like, getting to actually, like, have a new group of people come in mm -hmm. and just be, like, kind of wishy-washy about whether or not they want to smoke and then them getting to meet, like, our other customers and our employees and get that experience and have a great time and then bring more of their friends back. Like, it's just there's always so many different personalities and then, like, you end up with people that you know, learn hobbies and stuff from these other people, and it really just grows the community. It's like a family, like, mm -hmm. it's gotta be the best part, like, by and far. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It's been a lot of work throughout the years, um, but I love having the environment to not only be a part of, but to provide that environment for other people. Um, it, like Susan said, it, it is a family, um, you know, there's, we get a lot of, a lot of interesting people. We have some great customers, but you know, some of them are socially awkward. Some of them are, don't have a whole lot of friends and, and, and we provide an environment that really allows them to just have some people to, to be around and to be with. Um, it's one of, one of the, the main overriding principles of our lounge. Like we do not close on Christmas and we do not close on Thanksgiving. Um, we don't make our employees work. If they don't want to work, we'll work it. We'll keep the lounge open for those days. Um, but to have, we, we're, a, we're a big military town, we're a big college town, so if you get people that are alone on Christmas, we want them to have some place that they can, if they would like to, be around people, because we don't really want people to have to be alone on the holidays and that kind of thing. Um, so having that environment, we love it too. We love having a place to go. We love having a place where we can go talk to people. Um, we can be social if we want to. So it's, it's wonderful to have that. As it's wonderful to provide it for people. Um, you know, and throughout the years, you know, you see, you, you know, people come down and they become, they become regular customers and you get to know them. And sometimes they become employees and then they meet somebody in the lounge and then they get married. And, you know, almost nine years now is a long time and you can see people's lives evolve through the entire time they've been a part of that business you know we have we have ex-employees who have moved on and they've they're doing good for themselves they've got good career jobs and they've gotten married and they're starting to have kids now and you know you you can really see these lives that have been changed by a, a business that we provide it's so wonderful i love it uh, so Sahara Nights Hookah Lounge, uh, 729 Main Street. Um, our website is snhookah.com. We will hopefully be getting that updated soon. Uh, it works. The uh, information is just a little out of date. Um, but the address is correct and the, the phone number is correct. Um, 
we were on Facebook, um, Sahara Naitukala Lounge. Um, don't know that we have any other social medias, but. <clears throat> so if you guys are ever in South Dakota, Rapid City, South Dakota, you guys could go check out their lounge. Sounds like it's a great place to go hang out, get to meet great people. These guys are, you know, always just like us, always working on, you know, quality, quality hookahs, quality tobacco. So seems like a great place to go check out. Um, you guys stay tuned. We're going to be highlighting other lounges uh, in, a, in all across the United States, maybe from other countries if they come by. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. Thanks for uh, watching.